Well, these courses that Soren run are hugely educational for us. Um, as registrars these days, um, you do spend a lot of time with service provision and getting into theatre every day is sort of an impossibility these days. I think for every single cardiac unit around the country we should have a permanent wet lab whereby in our own time when we are free on weekends we can go and practice um, in a group. Well the wet lab facilities here are absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've been coming here for nearly three years now and uh, to be able to get hands-on experience uh, especially as a junior cardiac trainee is absolutely fantastic. I've been involved in a couple of wet lab sessions that's been provided by Sorin in, um, uh, in a couple of hospitals which I've worked before and uh, I have to say that uh, the experience is really good. It's a great setup. There's um, a lot of provision to practice as well, um, practically as opposed to just sitting in a lecture theatre and being told the same thing over and over again but not actually having the opportunity to do it. So it's, it's um, a unique experience really. Well, honestly, I think the wet lab training here is great. It's been one of the greatest uh, training experiences that I've had and I think it should be something that should be made available to everybody. The idea of practicing on something that's a safe environment in the wet lab um, just it's fantastic, it's a fantastic opportunity and of course we all jump at it. All of the things that we want to be doing in practice we're able to get you know first opportunities out here at the wet lab centre. Uh, it's been really amazing, it's very good facilities that you've got um, the cannulation perfusion course. Well, I think it gives us an opportunity, especially to those who don't have a wet lab centre in their hospitals, to learn skills which you otherwise would take months to develop, and it's a chance to do it in a wet lab setting as opposed to on a real patient. I think all of the trainees rely on what uh, wet lab and what Sorin are able to provide for us. Um, certainly, the the cardiac network in the UK um, seems to meet around the meetings uh, that are put on here especially on the practical side of things, for us to get that amount of experience in practically, for example, cannulating. Um, we're looking at sort of a year's worth of sitting in theatre and doing small steps before you get to that kind of level. I'm Mike Poulos, I'm a consultant cardiothoracic surgeon from Liverpool Cardiothoracic Centre. I think this Na National Wet Lab Centre is a fantastic start off uh, for multiple areas in cardiac surgery and other areas of surgery and interventional procedures because in the past you'd, your first procedure was on a patient, now you can be taught through the theory and the practice on a non-patient so you can get all, the, get all the mistakes out of the system before you do it to a patient and there's multiple things for here we're doing cannulation and perfusion today there's coronary anastomosis all the different valve replacements root replacements it's endless the, the number of practical procedures people can do under supervision on a, on a very uh, high tutor to candidate uh, ratio um, well for the course we're doing today on, on uh, cannulation as a junior I could go weeks between putting a single cannulation pipe in, an aortic pipe in. Uh, we're here, they've done half a dozen in just this morning and we have the whole afternoon for them to do it as well. And the, one of the advantages of running the course here, we have the lecture theatre next door as the, and the wet lab. So we can vary the lectures and practical hands-on depending on what the candidates want because every group of candidates will have different experiences, abilities and wishes from the course. Well, I didn't know a huge amount of Soren before but I think, in honesty, I have developed some element of loyalty towards them because of it. Uh, and I feel that they've contributed to my training, so I think it's definitely a good thing. And this is the first time I've been here, so I wasn't familiar with the setup um, before I came here. Um, it seems incredibly well organised. Um, everything seems to be run by a reasonably uh, closely knit team who know know what's going on. I'm sure once they see how successful these courses have been, um, and I know a lot of people that still want to do them, um, I think they'll be trying to get it on the act as well.